Hello, and welcome to my fourth and potentially final recipe of this week. Um, now, for those of you who have been waiting in, in great eagerness to find out um, uh, what this is, I, I have I have to let you know this this, this is something that not many people um, may incredibly like because it involves two ingredients that I think are wonderful but many people seem to dislike. Ladies and gentlemen, this recipe involves prawns and olives. Now I think people who dislike these ingredients are lesser human beings, um, but I absolutely adore these things and I'm going to continue making this recipe whether you like it or not. So today's recipe is Mediterranean style savoury pancakes. So what we're going to be doing is, is doing two different sections. Obviously the pancakes which are going to require flour, milk and eggs and then because it's uh, savoury pancakes Mediterranean style I'll just put some mixed herbs in it. And now the filling is going to be um, just a Mediterranean style mix of stuff. Uh, so it's going to be mainly with black olives and green olives. Um, but we're going to mix some pesto and of that because you ultimately you'd want to use fresh herbs like basil and things like that. But because um, this is on a budget, we're going to use uh, just some green pesto. Um, then we're going to mix those with, with some pepper and onion and cook those in olive oil and some red wine and then we're gonna just make it a little bit more exciting with some prawns and today we're actually gonna cook some chicken into it which should be rather nice. Today we're frying the same chicken that we had in the curry yesterday it's from Frozen and um, like we did with with the spices at the beginning and yesterday's recipe we're going to do something quite similar. Like we did yesterday we're putting on the uh, curry powder on the chicken first we're just putting a um, bit of mixed herbs and actually pesto straight onto that so that while it is the chicken is actually cooking it will um, be slightly absorbing those those flavours. It's just starting to cook there basically all we need to do is just wait for that chicken to cook and then we add the prawns and the vegetables. So at this point once again I'll turn the extractor fan on. Uh, the chicken is mostly cooked on the outside it's not cooked all the way through but at this point, I'm just going to put the prawns in, just to make sure they're cooked by the end of it. Just to uh, speed up the process uh, and make it a bit more easy to manage when it's actually put into a pancake, what I'm going to do is cut up the bits of chicken. i just cut up all the bits of chicken and you can see that they are pretty... pretty small now which actually makes them easier to cook through and you've got more surfaces for the actual individual pieces of chicken to absorb the sauce that we're well kind of, the herbs that we're cooking them in at this point we can start to add the vegetables first thing first uh, a good amount of each type of olive uh, green and black and then chop them up into halves or quarters now at this point the chicken and prawn is cooked all the way through and we're just going to put in all these olives. Mmm, I love olives. Oh. <laughs> A piece of water just started recording my phone. <laughs> After the olives have been in there for just a little while, turn down the heat, uh, and then we're going to cut up an onion. So just put the onion in and just going to put a bit of red wine straight onto this bit of onion, so a little bit all around. Um, that does change the colour of the onion quite nicely, but it also gives a wonderful flavour to the rest of it. Now straight after the onion, I'll just chop up a red pepper, and I'm going to put that in also straight away. Now that's basically um, the mixture done but we're just going to leave that on a low heat for uh, quite a little while and um, just until the, the vegetables are have softened up and 
bring all the flavors together uh, and that'll be done. But now we're gonna look at making the pancakes. I'm not gonna make very uh, many pancakes, um, so just use one egg and uh, to make it a bit easy, I'm gonna make it in uh, the blender. So I'm starting off with just one egg in there, then 200 milliliters of milk, and then two tablespoons of flour. And then blend it. I actually ended up using about uh, five spoonfuls of uh, flour in the end. I think I've had a bit too much milk in it. And I'm afraid I've only got a small pan uh, to use the um, making pancakes. Uh, so I'll just be making uh, more smaller pancakes instead of large ones, but I prefer having large ones. So just put a bit of oil in there and just sprinkle some herbs in there so to make sure that the surface of the pancake gets some herbs into it. I've just poured some of that mixture in there. I'm just letting it cook. I'm sure you know how to make pancakes. Um, so I'm just gonna leave it there and then be flipping it. And then I think I could probably get about hmm, three, maybe four of these little pancakes out of this this mixture, um, but we'll see. So I actually managed to make uh, five little pancakes out of that, and uh, well, that's basically it. All I'm gonna do now is just uh, pick up some of this, pop it on there, make a nice pile. I'll probably only use about half of this mixture. Um, and then probably store the rest. So there we go, that's Mediterranean-style savoury pancakes. Bon appétit!